Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to revert the stupid decision that Twitch has made to remove colored text when you type forward slash me before you type a word to color the text. I don't know why they made the decision recently, probably about a month ago, to remove the function that colors it. Now instead, it will make it italics. I believe one of the reasons why this was changed is because people were getting forward slash me text with the words has donated $500, has donated $5 million, that and I think quite a lot of the hot tub streamers were complaining about this. I might be wrong about that though. Don't quote me. So anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a very quick Chrome browser plugin that means that at least for you, you will see that colored text. Now, if you enjoyed using the text and you wanted other people to see your colored text, you're relying on them having this plugin. So it's not a full fix. But if you're a streamer and you enjoyed seeing the colored text because it distinguishes perhaps bot text in line with the Another video that I did about this originally showing how to originally color all of your bot text then you will find this very useful in distinguishing the bot text from normal chat text so there's like a functional reason I have asked twitch a couple of times to revert this back and on both occasions they blanked me why are we still here just to suffer every night feel my leg. Remains to be seen whether they'll change this back by default, but at very least, there's a two minute process that you can do to install a plugin. There's a slight configuration that you need to do. I'll show you how to do that in this video. If you enjoy it, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Let me know you enjoy it. Comment, come check me out on twitch.tv. Just watch the video, okay? Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, so for those that didn't know, by typing forward slash me and then some text, previously this would show up as colored text, the same color as what your name is here. And now it's just italics instead, a little bit more undistinguishable from just the normal text. They basically look exactly the same. The primary function of this for a streamer is so that you can distinguish the text of like bots because you can add forward slash me to all of your bot response text. For example, within CloudBot on Streamlabs, I now have here, as you can see, example, follow each command forward slash me and then the commands and that'll mean that any responses from cloud bot will then be colored and i'll know it's a bot response so it's a functional thing to have that by the way while we're here if you want to check out a video about the best commands to add to your channel i'll link two videos in the description below feel free to check them out they will make your channel better so what we're going to do on the extensions we're going to, we're going to first type chrome extensions that'll take us to the chrome web store we're going to search for this extension here which is the francoface z so we're going to click add this to chrome you have to hit the confirmation to add the extension here it just says that it, it will read and change your data uh click add extension we get a confirmation in the top right frank has been added to chrome manage your extension by clicking on the extensions in the tools menu now your extensions will be listed here and you may not actually see this bar so what you first need to do is go onto the the three dots here locate the settings tab here within chrome and then go to the extensions tab here or you can literally just type chrome dot dot forward slash forward slash extensions and it'll bring up this extensions menu and this is a ui that's sort of specific to you and the extensions that you have i've got loads of different extensions that plugged in here we can see here that by default frank face is now being installed and it is turned on we've got the option to remove it if we don't like it and we can also click on the details here of this and this just allows it to automatically access these two following sites its own site and of course the twitch site There's some other options here that are not all that important but you you just need to make sure that this is turned on now by default in twitch you will not see the icon here so we just need to refresh the page on Twitch, we now have this icon here. Now that does look like a nose or a nostril, but it's actually the Franca face upside down dog emote thing. It's not a nose, okay? It's not a nose. So we now have an extra option within Twitch based on the Chrome browser, and that's because Franca face has been allowed to make changes to the website. Makes sense? You're following me? So we now need to go into the Franca face control center. Now there's loads of different options you can change here. To be honest, I've not looked into any of them. There's probably a load of cool stuff in here. I mean, just looking at it now displaying large images of badges yeah whatever display potentially not safe for work images who would not want to have that on <laughs> we want to be doing a search here for action style and it's under appearance and it's under the chat appearance setting and now within here we've got a choice of different profiles we can have the action style which has the italic 
new style, which is obviously the new style that we don't want, or the colorized old style. You can also have colorized italic. And the action style defines what happens when someone uses forward slash me, the message will be rendered in this style. Again, this is only rendered for you because you have this extension on your browser. It's more useful for streamers than it is for non-streamers, but there'll still be a lot of non-streamers viewers that will have this installed, so it still works. Now, when I go into chat on Twitch, we may just need to do a refresh on this, so I'm going to quickly hit refresh on the page. If I now do forward slash me test text, we can see the text comes through as normal as previous. And that's it. You've done it. One thing just quickly to bear in mind if you are a streamer, and I'll bring over OBS Studio here. Within the settings tab on OBS Studio, and I think it's the same within Streamlabs OBS as well, under the stream tab here, there is a Twitch chat add-ons section where you're able to allow better TTV and Franca Face Z. I'm not quite sure what that does exactly. So there you have it, how to undo a stupid decision that Twitch has made to remove the colouring of the chart and make it italics. I really don't know why they did it, but there you go. If you did find this useful, hit the like, feel free to subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day. Take care.